this video, I have created a new project called a function car and here I written the base code to run the application. So the first step as I mentioned, in dependency injection, I'm going to add these two interface, one for Azure client and another one for Olama client. So these two client I added to this service collection and this get service, I pass the model name from the main program Based on the model name, I fetch the object from this service collection. So here I am going to add my Azure client and the Llama client. Service collection dot add a singleton and provider equal to new dictionary here. So I am going to use the dictionary here. Key is our uh, enum model and here we use iChat client. So the first one is model is Azure OpenAI for that I call the create Azure client function and the second entry is Llama client here and I have to call the function create Llama client. So this one. So our two object added to this service collection. The next in get service based on the model, I fetch the object from this collection. So here I define the interface and here service provided dot get required service. And here we have to pass our same dictionary so i just copy paste this one here to here dot try get value so the key is our model which we passed in the argument this one i passed here and second one is the out variable out we have already defined the i chat client interface that is a chat client here so i pass that's it so here we'll check the null so fine so this service handler in outside main program, we call this function get service, the model. Based on the model, we get the object, whether Azure OpenAI or Llama model. And here, this is an internal class. We created the Azure OpenAI client and Llama client. These two functions we have already talked about in our previous video, the same code only I, here I used. So we go to our main program.cs file. So the main program file, so I use this model then Lama Azure OpenAI, the same model which we discussed in our last video, this embedding sample, the same model only I used. And in the main program, here I moved all the input code to the separate class called input. And so this class, we just print this uh, information to the user. Once user select the option, whether Lama or Azure OpenAI. So we written the enum here. So this enum we pass to this service handler get service which we talk about this one. So this enum we have to pass to the service handler get service. Just we return the code here. So if you model passed based on the model we get model object from the collection that interface return to this one. And uh, this client I just print this information which model we used and uh, provided and uh, which URL. So this information I just display. So whether we selected Azure OpenAI Llama model, we just print this information and here just change the color and main one, this one. So we get the user message. User message based on the chat client interface, we call the model and get the result. So this result also display to, I move to the separate code, output handler display, the same code. Just in the console application, we print the result here. So this result, the text information we read from the chat completion message text. So this data has been displayed in the output handler. So we just run this application, make sure our service handler properly working or not. Once it's fine, then we jump to the our function call behavior. So I start the application. Please select the model to use. I select Llama. And the model information, I used Llama 
and the provider olama and the url so the user information we just say hi and here the result so seems to be it's working fine we run again and we check the second one also azure open ai so this time i need the second model azure open ai so here is corrected so we connected gpt 40 mini and the ai inference and the url so here we send the hi so we get the response so it seems to be all fine next we will talk about this function calling so to implement the function calling here i have implemented the function called get conversion rate here we have to pass source rate and target rate for example if you pass the euro the target maybe inr uh, usd or pound so this information based on the usd is changed so based on the pound it is changed based on the inr it will change so in the runtime we going to pass our source rate and target rate so this function get invoked and return the result so this is a plain c sharp function to convert this plain c sharp function to the microsoft extension a function you just add only the description that's it so this is the first step for function calling so here define get current conversion rate that's it so in the plain c sharp function we added the description so now it's eligible for our microsoft extension a function the next step we have to inject this function to this model so i chat client interface we have to inject this function to inject the function we have to use the chat option we have to pass the function information for that first i define the chat option outside while loop so in the top i define it here so the chat option variable name chat options new of chat option so here there are lot of properties available that we'll talk about in upcoming videos our focus is function calling so we have to use this tools property this two tools property is a list of ai tool class so here we have to use a tools and here we have to define the get conversion rate function to this tools here you notice this is a ai tool class so we have to convert this function to this ai tool for that we have to use ai factory function factory dot create we have to pass the function so the delegate we have to pass this is a delegate method we have to pass the function here this is not required that's it so what will happen this function returns the a tool it's contain the complete metadata in internal function call we define the json structure from there what is the function what are the arguments is needed that all define in the json format the same step the function factory is doing so once we pass this function name to this class this class return the metadata information that assigned to this tool so once our chat option is ready here we have to pass chat option that's it so our function it's ready to use in our model so we run this application and we see the output how the function calling is working so start the application the first up i use llama model hi how are you here let me know the euro to india conversion rate lama lama model little bit take time some time depends on your uh, pc performance so here we get as of current exchange rate 1 euro is equivalent to approximately 88.50 indian rupees so we do anything we put the breakpoint here so this function and we'll 
make sure the function calling is working or not we confirm it so go back to the application so here what is usd rate today compared to euro so our function call is working so here i mentioned usd so the our source is usd and target is euro so the enr passing our function get called properly and we continue and here we get the result so 0.19 yeah perfect so now we use this our second model azure open ai start the application again this time i use azure open ai model hello what is what is today india rupees rupees rate so here get hit and inr and default we did not specified anything here the target so just model desire to pass this usd here and we get the rate so today exchange rate for indian rupees to us dollar approximately 0.01 to usd something like that so just quickly check yeah here you can see this 0.02 so this is a simple example to implement a function calling in microsoft extension sdk